Greetings, everyone. So the Vatican graciously decided to finally give a statement on the horrendous blasphemy that took place during the Olympic ceremony, the opening ceremony of the Olympics in Paris. It took them a while because the ceremony took place on the 26th of July and they released their statement in French to French journalists on Saturday the 3rd of August. So they weren't in a hurry to do this, but they did give a short and rather weak statement, as you'll see. You know, it's kind of a shame that the Olympic ceremony didn't mock Mohammed, because that might have actually gotten the Vatican to respond straight away. Oh, how dare you mock someone else's faith? This is completely wrong. You should not have done this. But no, the people surrounding the Pope first needed to sort out his schedule, probably arranging other meetings with various LGBTQ ministry leaders so that was more important and then they thought oh you know what it's entirely possible that the only reason they released this statement was because quite a lot of the French media were reaching out to the Vatican and they eventually just decided to put something out so that the media outlets wouldn't say they contacted the Vatican but the Vatican wasn't available for comment because then it would make them look like they didn't care and to be honest, it seems like they don't care anyway. But as I said, they did put out a short and weak statement. So let's have a read of this article. In response to the July 26th Paris Olympic ceremony that mocked the Last Supper, and after the French bishops and other Catholic and world leaders decried the display, the Vatican on Saturday issued a statement denouncing the scene. In a brief statement emailed to journalists in French, the Holy See said, it was saddened by certain scenes at the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympic Games and cannot but join the voices raised in recent days to deplore the offence done to many Christians and believers of other religions. Now, excuse me, but I must have missed something. Where was the offence done to other religions? Because I don't recall any people of other faiths being offended by anything that took place. I mean, they may have thought that it was a rather a seedy and disgusting ceremony, but I don't recall their faith openly being mocked. So I'm not sure what other religions the Vatican is talking about here. It was Christianity that was directly mocked with an absurd depiction of the Last Supper. And you know what? You can have many critiques of Muslims, the way they treat women in their religion, the way they treat animals, the way they make halal meat and torture animals in order to make it halal. But one thing you cannot criticize Muslims of is cowardice. They're not cowards. They are prepared to fight to the death. They will make it known when you have offended them. If they'd had Muhammad as a drag queen, perhaps portraying Muhammad as a lesbian DJ. Oh, you'd have known that the Muslims are upset. The Muslim world would have made it very, very obvious. They would have been burning French flags in France. There are enough Muslims in France to be burning French flags all over France, and they may well have done more than just burn flags. And that's all in the name of a false religion. And this is the Vatican's rather pathetic statement about the mockery of the true faith, the true religion, the reality. Jesus, our Saviour, our Lord, the Son of God, who died for us, mocked. Anyway, let's continue. In a prestigious event where the whole world comes together around common values, there should not be illusions ridiculing the religious convictions of many people, the statement continued. Oh dear. The controversial scene, part of the 1.5 billion euro spectacle to kick off the Summer Olympics, featured drag queens portraying the apostles and a self-proclaimed lesbian DJ as Jesus in what appeared to be part of a fashion show, apparently mocking Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting. Freedom of expression, which is obviously not called into question, says the Vatican, finds its limits in respect for others, the Holy See concluded in its statement. 
Again, I go back to Islam. I like to go back to Islam because while I disagree with so much of it, obviously I disagree with the faith itself and so many of the practices in it, the one thing that I do admire is the devoutness of Muslims and the commitment they have to their faith when someone should mock it or say anything bad about it at all. Do you think that if Muhammad was mocked during this ceremony, Imams would say, hey, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't offend the religious convictions of many people. No, they would be tearing off their clothes. Ah! This is what the Vatican should have been doing. They shouldn't be saying, you know, this is very sad, you shouldn't be mocking people's religious faith. They should be saying, how dare you mock Jesus, the saviour of the world? How dare you? You should be apologising for this immediately. Shame on you. No, it kind of saddens us that you did this. It's very sad when you mock people's religious convictions and you shouldn't be offending believers of other religions. What other religions, again I ask? Somebody point this out to me if I've missed it. What other religions were mocked during this? Because all I saw was Christianity being mocked. So there's the statement from the Vatican. I told you it was weak and pathetic. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks for watching the video. Have a blessed day.